I think it's safe to assume that we've only identified a portion of the people that have gone back on the battlefield once they have left Guantanamo. These are the kinds of people that the President is talking about moving it back into the United States uh, or moving or either moving them here, releasing them or detaining them. But just as we can't force other countries to welcome these detainees with open arms into, into their homelands, neither should we force our citizens and our communities to do so. Having been to Guantanamo and just seeing the types of people uh, that are there, the way they abuse the uh, guards, the way they carry on, uh, listening to the people who do have to guard them and just uh, hearing stories of how uh, violent they can be. The thought of having these people coming back to any state in the United States uh, to me is uh, absolutely uh, wrong and disgraceful. Coming from New York, I have a particular concern because there have been reports that a number of these detainees could be brought to the Southern District of New York to stand trial, which is literally within walking distance of Ground Zero. It's within walking distance of City Hall, within walking distance of uh, the Brooklyn Bridge, uh, police headquarters. Uh, and again, being uh, literally in the shadow of Ground Zero, I find uh, not just offensive, but also extremely dangerous. So We are going to have to release them into our communities after that six months period. Th this is the one area uh, in which in where I'm going to take a protectionist stance, protection from terrorists. The federal judges may well find that they're entitled to other constitutional rights, which is going to result in their release into our communities. Because in World War II, I don't think we expected the, uh, you know, you, you, you didn't have the threat from homegrown terrorism. You didn't have, remember, these folks successfully attacked us on 9-11. 3,000 Americans died. Putting these people in the middle of our communities puts those communities at risk and puts the...